Hi, my name is Nikhil and I am a support team member here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to set up AWS cost and usage reports. Let's get started. AWS cost and usage reports track your AWS usage and provides estimated charges associated with your account. The AWS cost and usage report contains the most comprehensive set of cost and usage data available. You can use cost and usage reports to publish your AWS billing reports to an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket that you own. You can receive reports that break down your cost by the hour or month, by a product or a product resource, or by tax that you define yourself. There are three basic benefits of setting up cost and usage reports. AWS cost and usage reports can do the following. Deliver report files to your Amazon S3 bucket. Update the report up to three times a day. Create, retrieve, and delete your reports using the AWS cost and usage reports API reference. Before we proceed, here's some information that might be helpful to you. A cost and usage report can be set up by a standalone account. If you use the consolidated billing feature in AWS organizations, then the Amazon S3 bucket that you designate to receive the billing reports must be owned by the payer account in your organization. You can't receive billing reports in a bucket that is owned by a member account. If you use consolidated billing, you can also have your costs broken down by member account. First, sign into the AWS Management Console, then navigate to the Billing and Cost Management Console. Select Cost and Usage Reports. It's the fifth option on the left. Choose Create Report. Note, choose a unique name for every report, alphanumeric without any spaces. For additional report details, select Include Resource IDs to include the IDs of each individual resource in the report. For Data Refresh Settings, Select whether you want the AWS cost and usage reports to refresh if AWS applies refunds, credits, or support fees to your account after finalizing your bill. When a report refreshes, a new report is uploaded to the Amazon S3 bucket. Choose Next. For the S3 bucket, choose Configure. In the Configure S3 bucket dialog box, do one of the following. Select an existing bucket from the drop down list and choose Next. Enter a bucket name and the region where you want to create a new bucket and then choose Next. Then select I have confirmed that this policy is correct and choose Save. For report path prefix, enter the report path prefix that you want pretended to the name. Of your report. This step is optional for Amazon Redshift or Amazon QuickSight but required for Amazon Athena. If you don't specify a prefix, then the default prefix is the name that you specified for the report in step 4 and the date range for the report in the following format forward slash report name forward slash date range. For time granularity, choose one of the following. Hourly, if you want the line items in the report to be aggregated by the hour. Daily, if you want the line items in the report to be aggregated by the day. For report versioning, choose whether you want each version of the report to override the previous version of the report or to be delivered in addition to the previous versions. For Enable Report Data Integration, select whether you want to upload your cost and usage reports to Amazon Athena, Amazon Redshift, or Amazon QuickSight. The report is compressed in following formats. For Amazon Athena, Parquet Compression. And for Amazon Redshift or Amazon QuickSight, dot .gz compression. Choose Next. After you review the settings for your report, Choose Review and Complete. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here 
at AWS.